Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Circa Brood War Remaster. Today it's gonna be Flash. It's gonna be Soul Key, ASL champion. It's gonna be Benzene. We've got Light Watching as well as I think that's Shuttle. Who's Doom? Doesn't really matter. Top right, it is Flash. He's kind of a pinkish Terran player today. And in the bottom left, it's a Zerg player. It is ASL champion Soul Key. Could this be the best matchup of the month here today? I think it is. The Cheese compilation did have a lot of excellent matchups, including Flash versus Effort. That holy smokes, that was an amazing Cheese game. If you didn't watch the Cheese compilation, maybe you missed it, maybe you didn't see it. YouTube is weird sometimes. Go ahead and check it out. I posted it last Thursday. If you're watching this when this posts, so yeah, go ahead and check it out. If you're interested in the cheese, it features Jadong, Bisu, and Flash. Effort, Royals in there, Queens in there, Rushes in the house. I mean, mini insane talent all the way through that thing. It's like 11 or 12 cheese games. All of them are hype. All of them are great. Check it out. Okay, whew, that was a hype opening for sure. Terror the Overlord scouting out the wrong direction, but it's a cross spawn. Nobody cross spawn scouts with an Overlord. They're going to die to something if they do that, especially in this matchup. Some Marine's going to find them. And besides, there's no indication that the Terran's going to be anywhere, you know, going to be here any more than he is top right or, or top left or bottom right. I know my directions. Hatch first into Tier Soul Key against Flash. Flash, APM, consistently high, early stages. He is one of those early game spammers. Helps his fingers get warmed up. Does that mean that's why he wins all these games? No, that's not what it means. But I don't know. It can't hurt, I guess. <laughs> or else he wouldn't be as good as he is, yeah? Yeah, I think that's correct. So, hmm, bought another external hard drive to keep all of the videos that I make and all the, you know, the YouTube videos that I create. Just kind of keep them around. I know some people delete their videos after they've been uploaded to YouTube, but I don't know. Do I trust YouTube that much? Probably not. Ooh, look at this hard wall from Flash. I'm considering doing some cloud storage, but man, it's expensive. If you're sending up, I mean, the thing is, the videos I'm producing here, they're like, I don't know, 10 gig a piece, and that adds up. If I'm doing about an average of 1.5 of these a day, maybe even 1.75 of these a day, 10 gig a day, day after day after day after day, adds up really fast. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep them in, in regular local hard drive status. Anyway, you're not here to listen to me talk about that. You're here to see, hey, look, a two base muta opening out of Sulky. Why is he doing it? Because it works! Because it's efficient and economical, and even against Flash, it keeps him at home a little bit. Allows you to get a third base up without too much trouble. Can be a happy nerd that way. Steve the SCV scouting out. Steve got shirts with his face on it over at Falcon Paladin dot store. Oh, oh, <laughs> devilish laugh. Second base coming up, but we are making a fast star port. This indicates two port wraith opening probably here from Flash. We'll see if he gets a second port or not. Oh, this is so hard for Zergs to deal with that I've seen. Like it's very rare that I've seen two port wraith just get easily swatted aside by a Zerg player and then they win. It's just so rare. Yeah, there's a Wraith. However, I do not see a second starport. One is not being built here. Not that one can't be built. Just just keeping an eye on the situation is all. And then a Vulture. Is he mecking? Dude, we have not seen Flash mech in a TVZ in a minute. He's so good at SK Terran. Like, the last 10 years of his TVZs really feel like nothing but SK Terran. There's a lot of Flash doing mechy stuff in like 08, 09, 010, 11, and 12, but then SK Terran really takes off and it becomes much less likely to be seen. OK, 
Okay, so it's not really two port wraith. It's a wraith to kill an overlord and maybe hopefully supply block our guy, Soul Key. And slow him down a little bit, because Sulky's a monster, as evidenced by the fact that he is the current ASL champion and a wonderful guy. Need money. But the poor guy, I think he's been caught he got caught up in a couple different scams recently. One of them was like a rent scam. I guess in Korea to rent somewhere you gotta put down like a huge deposit. I know that's the same in a lot of places, but it's something like five thousand dollars in Korean money for a deposit. Supply blocked, effectively supply blocked. Yeah, there we go. 34 out of 34 available. Not good, Sulky. Bad. Oh, it is Cloak. Okay. What the? What the? What? How many? Does he really only have the one Wraith that he's giving this guy Cloak? He's making a second one. That makes sense. Muta's coming in. Vultures scouting about, trying to see. Any kind of a third base? No, no. Great. Feel good about there not being a third base for Soul Key here. This game be bonkers. Ling Muta against Vulture, not bad. Not the worst thing. What's in that bunker? A Marine. How worried do you have to be about a Marine? Oh, Zergling hacking away at these turrets. And this isn't a ton of Mutas, but it's enough. To wipe out with a little bit of help from your Ling Buddy. Ling Buddy is dead, but the turrets are also gone. This is fantastic. What a nice little counterattack here. Bringing more Lings to the party. They've got speed. I don't... I mean... Flattening this bunker. He's going for the run by instead. Oh, getting kind of caught up here. Oh, Wraith Cloak! This guy is cloaked. Oh, and then... Oh, yes, this is so good. Here we go. This is Soul Key going after these missile turrets. And this cloaked Wraith is having a field day, but there's only one Wraith. Uh, another turret down, but there's still two remaining. Plus, these Mutas are getting hit hard by this Wraith. Two Wraiths now bringing in Overlord. Why is Overlord's speed not getting researched? Because Soul Key is dealing with vultures down here, ruining his day. He's down to, are you kidding me? Did that really happen? Is he zero? All right, vulture buddies. What is going on here? When did they do that? 20 to 30 workers. Right, right, okay, this is fine. This guy, ah, it's a drop. That's how the front had a sunken and a decent Sim City wall. But Flash, during all of this chaos, boop, drop in, and the three vultures go to town. 20 drones quickly become something like 12. Zerglings try to deal with it, but there aren't enough. It totally sucks. And all the guys on gas get wiped out. Ooh, missed that attack because he went inside the extractor. Okay, he's dead now. And then you high ground over here. Oh man, five kills, one kills. This guy's got five kills. Worker count down to 14. And the Mutas have to go home because, well, we don't have Overlord speed because we're mineral starved, because there's nothing mining at the main, because these vultures are murderous. Does get another drone as he gets taken out. 22 to 12 workers is wholly bad. This game is nuts. RJB did put this in the, want me to put this in the Defcon 1 RJB folder. He said this rates highly on the RJB fun scale, and this has been, wow, this has been incredible. One port wraith versus a two base muta opening. It looks like Soul Key was doing amazing, and then bam, suddenly a nice vulture drop from Flash shuts him down economically. He is bleeding hard. Also, I'd like to point out not making any more drones for some crazy reason. Science facility on the way, probably for a radiate. Guess what? If at first you succeed, try, try again. More dropship. Although this dropship is not as scary because it only has one vulture in it that's very injured. The Muta uh, stack is good. But the cloaked race are just an absolute problem. He seriously, he got a kill. He's gonna get another kill. Look at him. Oh, he did. That vulture with like four HP got three drone kills. Mm. Cloaked race are taking splashy bouncy damage. Off of these SCVs onto their faces. Even if they're cloaked, they'll take it. Uh, 
trying to kill enough SCVs here. Okay. Did make about six drones, making five more. He is replacing his economy, Soul Key is. Killed some SCVs, but Flash mm -mm, stabilizing. 21 SCVs to his name on two bases is okay at this stage. Especially if you've killed that many drones on the other side of the map. I mean, it's... Wow, this game is crazy good. It's just Ling Muta. No real sign of further tech here. Evolution Chamber, maybe for a spore back home in case the cloak rates come over here. Not a bad idea because this guy is not producing hydras at all. Symbiotic relationship, right? Lings and mutas, but also vultures and turrets. They're working together. Lings. Trying to make sure no second gas happens, but... Mm. It was an attempt, I suppose. Radiate's almost done. Not that there's a science vessel out, is there? I'm not convinced that there is. Ooh, Queen's Nest on the way, and a Ground Carapace upgrade for these Lings. Vultures running out. I am really shocked we're not seeing any sign of getting Overlord speed here. Nothing. These overlords are slow. I guess he figures if I fly them into combat with those race, they'll get target fired and killed anyway. Third base. Third base from Soul Key. Top left, immediately scouted by Flash's Vulture because Flash's game sense is just that good. Says there's got to be a third base somewhere. He's been constantly scouting, right? He just wants to see. There's a dead overlord. Supply blocked. Again, Soul Key just wants to know, right? Where's this third base? When is it? This is information I need, thank you. Further supply blocked. Wraiths are pretty good, but man, in the hands of Flash, are you kidding me? Just two wraiths, man, that's all it is. This guy's got eight kills. Oh, but the Scourge. Never mind. The eight kill wraith is dead. This guy running out of energy, flying back. And yeah, these vultures are very willing to sacrifice their own lives to kill drones. And kill drones, they that's three drones down, man. It is not 80 workers for Soul Key right now. It is 27. Three drones is a big portion of his income. Muta is not getting any further upgrades here. Ooh, Queen's on the way. Try to ensnare these wraiths, potentially. Ensnare does reveal cloaked units and slows them. And slows their attack, too. Ensnare is actually... Oh, good, man. good snipe on that science vessel. That was a sick play from Soul Key. Oh, another science vessel down. Irradiate. He sacked about four mutas to make that happen. But he did. He killed both science vessels. Was the cost too steep? We will have to see. Slipping into SK Terran now is Flash. Ah, you thought he was going to max silly you. Ultraless Cavern coming in. Ensnare on the way. Adrenal happening. Gosh. Dude. Look at this Vulture Micro. Hilarious. More drones died, in case you were wondering. But third base exists. We are getting a Marine count up. We're giving them stim. We're giving them plus one attack. Medics are here. Fast Ultra might actually be kind of incredible here. Vultures suck against Ultras. Marines suck against Ultras. Wraiths suck against Ultras. Let's see... Not that it really has the cash to make a lot of Ultras, right? You can make one right now. You want to make one Ultra list when it's probably just going to get irradiated. And it's not going to have speed. Sure, we'll make one. And give it kindness plating too. Why not? Okay. Nidus to reinforce the third is necessary. Flash, really no sign of a third base from him. He seems to be pretty okay with two base in it today. If the game goes on, he'll get a third, but... Science Vessel, Snipe. Radiate does go down. Pretty good split from Soul Key, though. And one sunken here is going to be everything. And it is. One sunken, but the Marines have Stim. They've got plus one, and range is almost complete. More sunkens trying to come in here. It is a desperate hold attempt here from Soul Key. As we all know, if you lose your third base... Against a Terran, early in the game, pretty much dead. 
might be able to survive later, but it is not an ideal scenario for you. And then Flash is like, mm, I don't want to go up there and pulls out. Okay, Soul Key won that just by being prepared. Flash scanned it, said, mm, up a ramp into Sunkins, into Lings, into Mutas, into Ensnare Queen. Snare is also pretty good on Marines. Just to radiate on the Mutas. Gotta get an Ensnare here, man. Couple Ultras out. Anabolic Synthesis on the way. Ultras have Chitinous Plating, but they're not fast enough to really flee that well. Go, go, go. Scourge. Get the oh, Science Vessel. Fine. Priority. Don't get the Wraith. Get the Scourge. Is he just running until Anabolic Synthesis is done? Is that what he's doing here? He's trying to avoid this confrontation. He really doesn't like it. He doesn't want to get irradiated. He doesn't have enough energy in that science vessel to irradiate. Oh, he's trapped, though. All right, he has to engage. Ensnare, bloop, bloop. Ensnare down. Ultra's up. Muta's fighting as well as they can. The Ultras really need to make the work here, though. And they are with Kitness Plating. They die. They take a lot of Marines with them. This guy evacs before he goes down with his 77 HP remaining. These Lings somehow slipped out. How did they do that? And the Queens got out of there too. Not even all that injured. Weird stuff. Um, Lings attacking their own sunken because Ultras are too fat to make it through that gap. Fine. Ultra speed almost done. This is... This is crazy. Crazy. Third base, maybe from Flash? Is he considering it? Production tab says not really, no. No command center under construction. I don't see one either. Ensnare prevents the Wraith from chasing too hard on your queens. Not bad. Keeps them alive. How often do you see Ensnare in these games? Not, not a lot. I feel like it was last year, maybe, we got an Ensnare in the StarCraft. There's another one. Bloop. Bloop. Queen dies for a double ensnare, but the Ultras have speed and kindness plating, and it's a surround scenario. The Lings have Adrenal, but not the greatest upgrades. A radiated Ultra is in amongst the Marines and Medics. But, yeah, oh, these Marines, there's a lot of them. 2 1 upgrades on those guys. That Ultra goes down. Man, only Flash, dude. Getting surrounded by Lings and Ultras like that with Adrenal, with Kindness Plating, with Speed, and coming out of that alive, that's nuts. That is just Flash here for you. But Flash, if he doesn't get a third base, he's going to run out of steam here. Main base is going to mind out, get mined out. A couple Science Vessels die. Some Lings catch a wrong... Wrong angle there. Fourth base attempted up here. Not, I mean, not supported at all for Soul Key. Here we go again. Big engage right on top of these dudes. Another beautiful ensnare. Science vessels on top, but hey, attack speed still pretty fast if you've been ensnared, if you've stimmed up, boys. Defensive Matrix on a Zergling. He missed. Flash missed on the D Matrix click. <laughs> Don't see that very much. Soul Key trying to save this fourth base. Reinforcement swinging in from the south side. This Ultra gets caught up. Trying to come around the backside and win this thing. Is this working for Soul Key? Kind of. The stimming, the stimming, the irradiate on these medics. And Soul Key wins that battle. But more Marines coming from south. The Ultras are dead. The Lings, do they have attack upgrades at all? They've got plus one and plus two. Medic's retreating. I think Flash may have just run out of steam. He's up 17 supply. He's got more workers, but uh, third bases are in short supply. And you're on the retreat against a Zerg army like this. You're not very happy. Another ensnare. Marines take a second to jump in. Irradiates are plentiful because this is Flash we're talking about. Look at these guys trying to run, but no, they get caught up on the edge. Benzene has some weird architecture. Killing these medics is a big deal, but don't get greedy. Kill what you can. Escape when the Marines come back to save their loves. 87 to 80 supply. Worker count is even. Fourth base of Soul Key. This gas is of the utmost importance for the Zerg player. Science facility. Scouting out what's going on, but I don't think you need that to scout out what's going on. It's Lings, it's Ultras. 
we might make some more queens. Who knows? But also Scourge for the Science Vessels is going to be the play here. Third base. Hey, he did it. He got a third. Okay. So he's got a third base. He's going to land it here. Minerals only. If he can get this. This is going to change everything for him. But the fact that this fourth base by Soul Key is already running. Soul Key working on that. Plus two attack for all of his ground Zergi units. He's making more queens. More calm sat. And Sulky decides a fifth base is a fine thing to get. We'll see if he can get away with it. The army is generally in this neighborhood protecting it for now, but they're not going to stick around forever. They're on the move out. They are going to try to knock down this third base without any Plague or Dark Swarm. Which is, I think, what the Zerg players watching this are most, most concerned about. <laughs> is that, yeah, Ensnare is cool and all. But no Plague and no Dark Swarm. All right, here we go. Kind of back the Marines into a corner, though. Their kiting ability is greatly in impeded. D-Matrix does catch two of the units they were supposed to here. Medic's in the front, really messing with the pathing of this Ultra and these wings. But, nah, your third base is down, son. And Flash taps out. Soul Key gets the win. My goodness, what a TBZ that was. That was absolutely jam-packed dynamite stuff there. Oh, wow. That was fun. That was a ton of fun. Flash and Sulky. Sulky comes out on top. What do we expect from the ASL champ? No Dark Swarm, no Plague. Who needs it? Lings and Ultras and then Snare. That's the plan. Sure, all my Ultras are getting irradiated. So what? That's going to happen anyway. <laughs> Just, <laughs> these guys are irradiated too, because of course they are. Wow. I mean, defending this third base by just having enough defense there and Flash going home was big. Getting the fourth base up, defending that was also huge. And then just being able to kind of wipe out this third base. Fifth base coming in. The Vulture harassed by Flash was amazing. Really slowed Soul Key down. Soul Key got uh, supply blocked a few times thanks to Wraiths, but weathered the storm. His macro was insanely good. 300 APM at this point in the game. Lost drones, built them, no big deal. Didn't lose a base. That's sort of the key here, right? You can lose drones as a Zerg player, and it's pretty bad. It is. It'll slow you down. It'll make you lose games. But once you start losing hatcheries like this, that's when you start losing matches for sure. The fact that he was able to keep all of his hatcheries pretty pristine. I don't think any of them took any hits at all from the enemy, which is impressive against Flash in 20 minutes. But keeping all of them alive was a massive, massive deal. So, woof. Yeah, I think I'm going to epic tag that one. That was nonstop. That was a ton of fun. So, what do we got here? 102,000 points, 112,000 points there. Sulky on top, numbers-wise. Out producing Flash and getting out killed by Flash, but not enough to compensate for this number here. Structures raised 11, but most of those are sub, uh, missile turrets. So not that big of a deal. And yeah, still able to outspend Flash despite the death of those drones early by about 6,000 resources in a 20 minute game. And that's what you need. That is enough to defeat Flash. So incredible, incredible TVZ. Check out RJB. YouTube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. Hmm? Okay. But, man, what a great match. And that's going to be it from me. So, this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered and one heck of a game. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.